Hi, my name is Mike Goddard. I'm a solution engineer at Cockroach Labs, and I am going to show you quickly a little demo using our uh, new geospatial capabilities that we released in version 20.2. So it could be that over this last several months with all the travel restrictions due to COVID, you um, have wished you could travel somewhere. And I certainly have. And so here's my camera. So that's, maybe that's, I imagine that's me, the tourist there saying, hey, show me the closest restaurants uh, so that the idea is that we are uh, in a, some locale and um, we the application is showing us uh, what are the closest pubs, restaurants, bars, or cafes, and um, I'll show you how we're gonna do it. So first of all, um, Cockroach TV in version 20.2 released uh, spatial capability. So it's inspired uh, by PostGIS. And if you know anything about Cockroach, you know that we're very compatible with Postgres. And so PostGIS being uh, kind of the standard for uh, spatial capability, um, it made sense to emulate that. So we have built a capability that supports uh, a, a large fraction of that functionality. So we support the geography type, uh, the geometry type, and you can use points, lines, polygons, and you can also index these types. And so we have a GIN, an inverted index, and it's uh, implemented in such a way that it also scales horizontally just the way Cockroach TV does. So you know, I think that you'll find that that's, that's pretty unique. So uh, as your data set grows, you can scale your spatial data and their indexes horizontally just as you would anything else in Cockroach DB. So one other aspect of this is for me to deploy this in the cloud in a Google uh, cloud. I first set up a GKE cluster and then I used our, our new Cockroach DB Kubernetes operator to deploy this. And that was pretty easy. And I'll kind of show you what it looks like here. This is the shell where I did all this stuff. And starting at the top, I uh, created a, uh, a cluster with four nodes in GKE. And then you can see here my cluster is running. <clears throat> I then um, applied the uh, operator manifest. And that was done here. Here are the operators running. You can see that here. Um, in this part here, we um, apply the YAML file, which defines the cockroach DB um, service, and you know the load balancer service plus the cockroach DB pods. So it's it's a deployment. Uh, here we can see that we've got. Cockroach DB nodes 0, 1, and 2 running. So we've got our three nodes. And then let's see what else we have here. Um, we used the SQL CLI to create a role that we can use for our application. And then we granted privileges to that role. Then we uh, ran this data loader YAML, which kicked off our data load. Uh, the data is up in a uh, Google Cloud uh, storage bucket, and it's about 475,000 uh, points that are within Europe. Uh, so you can see that the geoloader was running there. Um, we also uh, did some port forwarding here on port uh, 18080 on the local host to port 8080 on our cluster, which, so that's our um, DB console. So you can get all kinds of information on the database. You, you see three live nodes. You can look at different metrics um, and see our databases. Uh, default DB is the one we're using, and we have a table OSM, which is for all those locations of those different amenities like pubs, cafes, restaurants, etc. And then the tourist locations, which is a smaller table that just is options for where that tourist icon may be located. 
uh, and you can see the statements. And so you can see that this statement here has been executed quite a few times, 66, because I've been playing with this. And this is the one that basically takes for um, the location of the tourist. It finds what are the top 10 closest uh, amenities uh, from those different types of amenities. And we can mark, put them on the map. Um, this was our... Uh, load balancer ingress uh, IP. And so that's the IP that we put in to the browser and that lets us look at the app. So here's what the app looks like. Uh, when I load the page, the icon for the tourist shows up at any one of these uh, predefined locations. Uh, and those are here in this tourist locations table. And as long as they're enabled, so currently the only one that's enabled is this one. Oops, actually, that's not true. I think I changed it. Let me show you. Um, the one that's enabled is the, the Brill Market. So if we look here, we can see the Brill Market is where I am. Uh, these are the closest pubs. There's the Sheaf. 134 meters, a wine bar. And then if I uh, pan the map around, there's an event handler so that every time you pan the map, um, it refreshes the result set to find you the closest amenities. And then if I reload the page, it may switch to a different type of amenity. So in this case, it's cafes. Um, so this was built uh, using a combination of CockroachDB uh, with the Leaflet JavaScript map API, uh, data from OpenStreetMap, and um, Mapbox. And so here on the README for uh, the GitHub repo, we go kind of in depth about everything all the way down to the data, uh, the DDL for the tables, um, we talk about some novel uh, aspects there uh, in some of the SQL. And then finally, we end with some instructions on how to deploy that. And so that's up here at this, this link. Um, it's a pretty small app. Um, this is just one page of HTML. Uh, it's 136 lines and then coupled with the back end, which is a Python Flask app, uh, which connects using this Psycho PG2 uh, driver to the CockroachDB instance. And it's got a couple of endpoints, uh, one to get the initial sites where the tourist could be located, and another one that pulls the features um, to find the closest uh, amenities to where that tourist is located. And then here in this SQL, you can see we're using various uh, ST distance, ST make point. We're casting something as a geography type. And we're getting the uh, latitude and the longitude uh, out of the reference point. Um, in this case, we're using the STD within, which is a function that finds uh, points within a specified distance of one another. And here we're specifying like 5,000 meters. Um, so there's a lot of familiar uh, PostGIS stuff there and uh, kind of a small app. So it might be something interesting if you want to kind of explore uh, what we've done with, uh, with the spatial capability. And of course, I should stop playing with it and let you go. Um, I really appreciate your time. Thanks for your uh, attention. It was a pleasure to present this to you, and I look forward to uh, the next time.